This screencast reviews multiplying polynomials, which in my classroom is Learning Target 29. The main principle that you are using is the, to use the distributive property. Normally, you would take what is in the first parentheses and distribute it to each term inside the second parentheses. So for example, let's say I have 3x plus 2, and we're going to multiply that times x minus 6. So we would take the first term, which is the 3x, and multiply it times the first term in the second parentheses, x, which gives me 3x squared. I'm going to take that times the second term, and notice we're going to include the negative with the 6. So we have 3x times a negative 6, which is negative 18x. Next, we're going to distribute the negative, excuse me, the positive 2, the second term in the first parentheses. 2 times x is positive 2x. We do want that plus sign there because we will be doing some combining of like terms. And 2 times a negative 6 again, which is negative 12. Look to see what like terms that you do have to combine. In this case, we have a negative 18x and a plus 2x we can combine. So my final answer is 3x squared minus 16x minus 12. Next example we're going to do is quantity x plus 4 times quantity x plus 3. So once again, we're going to take my first term, which is the x, distribute it. x times x is x squared. First term times second term in the second parentheses. 3 times the x is 3x. Now we're distributing a positive 4. 4 times the x is plus 4x and 4 times the positive 3 is a positive 12. Once again, we are looking for like terms to combine. They have a positive 3x and a positive 4x, which will give me a positive 7x when I combine them. Final answer would be x squared plus 7x plus 12. Let's say we have 5x minus 6 times 4x minus 3. Distributing first the 5x. 5x times 4x is 20x squared. When we're distributing the 5x to the 3, we have to include the negative sign again, so we have 5x times negative 3, negative 15x. Next, we are distributing not just 6, but negative 6. Negative 6 times 4x is negative 24x, and negative 6 times a negative 3 is a positive 18. Once again, combining like terms, we have a negative 15x and a negative 24x we can combine. So we have 20x squared minus 39x plus 18. We do not always have two terms multiplied times each other. Sometimes we have three terms. For example, we might have 3x squared times the quantity 5x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 7. In this case, we have to do two sets of distributions. We're going to first distribute the 3x squared into the first parentheses. So we have 3x times 5x squared, 15x cubed. Remember, you are adding the powers of 2 of one and 1 to get 3. 3x squared times a positive 2 is a positive 6x squared. I'm going to put that in parentheses because we are keeping them together. We have not multiplied by the net x minus 7. It comes down. Quick check, can I combine any like terms in that first parentheses? Nope, we're ready to go to distribute again. So we're going to take 15x cubed times x, that gives me 15x to the fourth, again adding our powers. 15x cubed times a minus 7, that's going to give me minus 105x to the third. Now go back and distribute the 6x squared. 6x times x is plus a 6x cubed cubed, and a 6x squared times a minus 7 gives me a minus 42x squared. We do want to combine our like terms, and again, we have that with the two x cubed terms in the middle. So we have 15x to the fourth. We have minus 99x cubed, minus 42x squared, and I would like to make a quick check to make sure that I do have it in standard form, which I do from highest power down, so we're good. One more example. Let's take a look at x plus 2 times x minus 7 times 2x minus 3. Now in this case, we have three binomials to multiply. We'll take care of the first two first, get an answer, and then distribute to the third one. So we have x times x, which is x squared. 
We have x times a minus 7, which is a minus 7x. We have a 2 times an x, positive 2x, and 2 times a minus 7, which is a minus 14. I have not done anything with the 2x minus 3. It's still there. Might be helpful to collect my like terms to make a little bit less work. So we have x squared minus 5x minus 14 times 2x plus 3. And we're now ready to distribute again. Start with the x squared. x squared times 2x is 2x to the third. x squared times a minus 3 is a minus 3x squared. Now going to distribute minus 5x. Don't forget that minus sign with it. Minus 5x times a positive 2x is a minus 10x squared. Minus 5x times a minus 3 is a positive 15x. And last but not least, we're taking a negative 14 and distributing. Negative 14 times 2x is a negative 28x. And negative 14 times a negative 3 is a positive 42. Collecting like terms one last time. 2x to the third. I have a negative 3x squared and a negative 10x, which is a negative 13x squared. We have a 15x and a minus 28x, which gives us negative 13x and plus 42. Thank you very much. Have a great day.